Good morning to CMC Espresso from the Frankfurt office of CMC Markets. The bulls, the buyers, have taken the free lunch from the delayed rate hike plans of the Federal Reserve and reaped in some profits yesterday. George Soros, the famous investor, has taken control of shorting stocks and buying gold by himself. At least that is what the famous investors has been leaking to the press. It makes sense that he does that on a day where stocks are getting weaker. It is known from his 13F filings with the Securities and Exchange Commission, where he reports uh, with a certain delay of some weeks the um, uh, transactions that he did. And uh, it is known that he is massively short already and has been so for weeks um, uh, betting on a sinking uh, S&P 500 index for it to go lower for a while. And so from all I can say, he must be already underwater with his short position as the index rose in the past weeks. So it is in the pure self-interest of Soros to do what he does. I think that he bets on a, an exit of the UK um, and a correction in stocks so he could get out of his short position. And he just wants to make sure that short sellers are not losing it here because if that were to happen, there could be a, an expensive short squeeze, at least for Soros and the short sellers. This could be expensive for equity bulls. Of course, this would be dreamland. One not so bullish guy named Mark Faber, the author of the Gloom Boom Doom report, is of the opinion that if Great Britain were to leave the European Union, it could be very bullish for economic growth. Quite a contrarian call here from Faber as other countries, he says, could also leave the EU, which is in his opinion a drag on economic development. So the EU, that is. He names Switzerland as a uh, positive example of an economic successful country, which is also independent from the EU, although geographically just in the middle of it. If the, EU, uh, the UK leaves, so would Croatia, Estonia and Malta. So that's at least what Faber thinks for the UK itself. It wouldn't be a disaster if it were to leave the EU. In his opinion, in his opinion it is quite to the contrary. It would be the best thing for Britain that could ever happen.